Hey everyone, so today I am filming a sort of casual cooking vlog. Sorry if you can hear, I've got some TPC going in the background. Of course, champ. Gotta love it. But yeah, basically, um, if you guys want to see more formal cooking videos in the future, please let me know. But I figured for the time being, this would be a good way to show you guys. So tonight I'm making some salad and some spaghetti. All right, so I have just added the pasta. I'm doing some angel hair spaghetti. Sorry, this fan is really loud. I just... I don't want to set off the smoke alarm. This is just like Sam's Club brand, I believe. That's where my parents shop. So the salad consists of romaine lettuce. I've also got some broccoli in there, some onion, some of those tomatoes I showed in my haul. They're this kind. <laughs> sangria tomato medley but I forgot that I wanted to add some of my sweet baby lettuce just because it's a little bit darker and I want to get some of those dark greens in there this guy's about to boil over calm down boy but yeah so I'm gonna add some of that in um, I'm going to be making a sauce so I have some tomato so a little bit of onion I didn't have much onion left of the bit I was using here's some tomato paste I have some minced garlic olive oil and basil um, and then I'll probably add some salt and pepper but yeah so that's basically that I was going to use some of my mom's dressing but it's kind of frozen I think um, the olive oil solidified so I think I'll mix up a little bit of the dressing improperly but this is okay because it shows how to make it. Now this isn't going to be exact since I'm only making what I'm consuming tonight but I'm taking some white wine vinegar and then some of my olive oil and then I have a blend of spices. I will leave the recipe for it. My mom got it from Pinterest. I will try to remember to leave it in the description box. Please remind me if I forget but it's basically some sugar, some Italian seasoning, some other sort of herbs and flakes and such but I'm also gonna put a little dash of water in there and I'll show you how it looks so here's the concoction that's essentially how it looks it's how I make a little bit of dressing I'm just gonna put this on medium right here gonna go ahead and get a little olive oil going but next I'm going to take the tomato paste I bet it's gonna be sealed. It is, goody. So I'm just gonna squeeze a bit in just to have a base. And then let me grab my garlic. All right, so this guy is drained. I'm gonna put a bit of garlic in. And a bit of basil. I like basil a lot, so quite a lot. It's smelling quite nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you guys down for a second and just go ahead and add some of this stuff. I probably won't add all of it. I'll probably add all of the onion because there's not much. So this is starting to do its thing a little bit here. I'm just gonna let it cook down for a while. I probably should have started it sooner, but it's no big deal. Um, yeah, we're just gonna wait on that guy. All right, so while you guys were away for a couple minutes, I added a little bit more basil and quite a bit more garlic just to taste. Um, this is not very salty at all, so if you guys were making this and you find it to be, I don't know, lacking in something, maybe you would wanna add a bit more, but personally, I don't like my food very salty. I also had a ton of extra tomato, so I just plopped that all in there. There is my spaghetti, and over here we have my salad all figured out. Um, I have some extra over here, under here, <laughs> and you guessed it, in here. But that's good because when I'm lazy, I don't want to have to re-prepare. I even have a little bit of dressing left. Hello everyone. So day two of the college veg vlogs. That's what I went on Instagram and kind of called it and then people thought that was an okay name so that's what I'm sticking with. Um, I figured as a part of these vlogs I could just show you hauls when I go grocery shopping since the title is not exclusive to just what I'm cooking. So I went to Hy-Vee, if any of you guys know what that is. <laughs> it's a Midwestern store, I think. I'm in Iowa, so we have them in Iowa. But anyway, first things first, not food related, but I just thought I would mention it because it might be of interest to some of you. I got a plant, finally. I've been wanting a plant. I want to get more in here, but here's my first guy. It's a peace lily. We've got my reusable dog bag. I have just quite the collection of reusable bags. But anyway, so I have some veggie straws. Here's some chips and salsa because I like that to snack on here. I also did get some real 
actual veggies, just a little carrot, celery medley. I'll probably just dip that into my dressing and snack on that. The reason I even went out in the first place is because I was out of peanut butter and I, I cannot be out of peanut butter. That is something you don't want Tara to be out of. And I was also out of olive oil, which I will be using tonight. Sneak peek of another video I'll be doing. Actually could be end up being a couple videos. I'm going to do a natural dyeing video and I needed some hard black beans for it. Um, and then I also know how to make a black bean soup thanks to my mom, so you might get two videos coming soon. I got these breakfast burritos by Amy's. These are the dairy-free uh, breakfast burritos. My other quick grab snack for during the day is just the peanut butter cliff bars. So yeah, more processed foods than I would like, but when you're in college, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, y'all, so I'm ready to go. I'm gonna use up what's left of my olive oil. This guy's already on like a low to medium heat. The heaping thing of broccoli, because I'm not eating a whole lot tonight, so this is what's gonna fill me up, my garlic. And then I just kind of heated up the pasta. So also I didn't mention, oh hello, I didn't film yesterday because I just ate leftovers. I cooked up that same sauce. I added quite a bit more salt and pepper this time and that made it taste really good. So I would recommend doing that. But anyway, yeah, so let's get into this. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add my broccoli. Hoppin' cooking, y'all. And I'm just gonna add some garlic. So I don't know if you guys can hear my music playing in the background, but I am currently listening to Summer Dream by Dave Monks. I'm sorry, I will try to feature more artists besides those that are affiliated to Tokyo Police Club. All right, so that's literally it. Let me turn off my fan. Just a super easy plate of pasta and garlicky veggies. I love this combination. Literally any kind of pasta, broccoli prepared any kind of way, any vegetable prepared any kind of way, right on. Good morning, everyone. So today is uh, Thursday. I don't have class until 12, so I figured I would show you what I'm making for breakfast. This is actually just some potato that comes in the organic freezer section. I sprinkled a little turmeric on it. I will show you the brand. It's it's this brand that I actually really like a lot. It's called Alexia. And these are just the hashed browns. So, yes, highly recommend those if you're in the market for some easy potatoes. Sitting in here hot waiting. I have some veggie sausages and then one waffle. Hey everyone, so here's breakfast all served up. I've got my maple syrup back here in a soy sauce dish with I think this is actually like a pumpkin spice waffle I got from Trader Joe's. Those are just like the Amy's veggie sausages, like I said, and then the turmeric hash browns, which is a good replacement for eggs since I'm trying to ease eggs and dairy at least out of my home diet for now. So yeah, I've got my ball of water. i um, going to just watch some YouTube and yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Hello, hello everyone. I just got home. I am making a salad, so I will show that to you. So I have cut up some, not a whole lot, tomato, carrot, celery, and in here I've already cleaned some romaine lettuce and some chopped onion. Um, dinner's gonna be pretty boring tonight. I'm probably just gonna have pasta again. Sorry if my music's too loud. Currently listening to, shout out to PB Cupcake, my gal. Currently listening to Brother Tiger. I'm having this salad right now and I'm gonna work on some homework. And then I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna eat after that, but like I said, it's probably gonna be pretty boring. So I probably won't show myself cooking it, but I will probably show you what I end up eating. I lied, I'll pop in real quick. Just wanted to mention tonight I'm trying out Himalayan pink salt. I'm also leaving out onions, not for any other reason um, besides the fact that I'm just too lazy to cut them. So, all right, so there is the fi final product. Um, I mashed it up a bit more this time, so it's more of a true marinara, I guess, and, and I don't know how to measure out pasta properly, so I have leftovers again, but yeah. No problem with that. I'm just gonna eat this up. So I'm just sitting here eating now. <laughs> Hello. And I should mention that I like the Himalayan salt in this better. Even without the onion, it's still good. So. Maybe it's because I added a ton of garlic this time, who knows? Hello, hello, it is Saturday. I am making a soup. I love soup so much. Um, I've got some 
organic veggie broth going. And then I have cut up the rest of my celery, carrots, and onions before they go bad. They're looking a little, oh, goodbye, dear friend. <laughs> They're looking a little discolored on camera, but actually in person they look fine, so I don't understand that. But anyway, um, I'm gonna add some pepper, some salt, and since I like that Himalayan salt better in the pasta sauce, I think that's what I'm going for from now on. Um, I might do a pinch of oregano, and then I'm going to add this pasta to the mix. Um, I guess I don't know if I ever mentioned what kind this was, but this is what I put my really tasty marinara on. This is just the Trader Joe's fusilli, fusilli, I don't know how you say it, but yes. All right, so I am doing the soup now. It was just simmering, but I added about that much and a half bowl full of water because it had boiled down pretty low. And I mean, I don't just want one serving of soup, okay? I want like several. So yeah, I just done that and then add a little bit more salt so it's not too dull. All right, so we are bubbling. I am just probably gonna leave this on for another 10 minutes so the noodles can cook through and I will have myself some soup. So I'm really looking forward to that because it's about zero degrees outside. I was actually gonna mention, I'll zoom out, had I had it my way, I would have liked some tomatoes, some broccoli, but it's literally like probably under zero degrees outside Fahrenheit, so. I'm not going anywhere today. Just tasting the soup here, and I think I'm going to add a little bit of my trusty garlic to the mix. I don't know, just to add a little something. I feel like he's missing something. All right, so it's a couple seconds later, and I have also added um, quite a lot of pepper, black pepper, and just a literal little shake and a shake of oregano, so um, it was even maybe a little less than a shake and a shake, <laughs> whatever that means. All right, so soup is complete. Um, I'm just gonna sit down and watch some YouTube videos and enjoy the rest of my night. One last meal going into this thing. I've got the hash browns going again that I had earlier this week, the veggie sausages, and then also I just wanted to mention that I'm doing some oatmeal. All I've got in here is the unsweetened almond milk from Target. And then I just use like a bag. It was like a huge bag of oats. And then I will add a little bit of maple syrup to sweeten it. And then I'm also going to put in, I forgot I had this sample of hemp seed, but once this is all done, I'm gonna microwave it one more time with the syrup. Um, I will add some of this in. All right, so here's the finished product. There's how the oatmeal looks. I garnished it with a little bit more maple syrup. I tried it with the hemp seed in, it, in there. It's pretty good, so I saw that adds omega-3 and all that fun stuff. Um, my hash browns got them extra golden this time. No turmeric added, just a little bit of pepper and the last of my veggie sausages. So I'm just gonna watch some old school SE Button and, or excuse me, Estee La Lalonde. And I will catch up with you guys later. Thank you for watching this series. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it and I will definitely do more. But yeah, until then, I will catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>